here at Galleria Gitana, we have a piece that I'd like to share with you called Hawksbill Turtle, and it's by Anne Triba, and she's going to give you a lot of information about it right now. Hi, I'm Anne Triba. Um, I am a mixed media artist with a background in drawing and painting and ceramics. And before I started creating mixed media pieces like the Hawksbill here, um, I was working quite a bit in ceramics. Um, and I love the textural quality of ceramics, but because it takes so much time between taking a lump of clay and having it come out of a, a, gil, a kill, a second glaze, you know, that all takes a lot of time. I switched to something called epoxy clay, and it's a two-part chemical reaction clay that I just dearly love. Um, and then I can paint it, so um, I can cheat as much as I need to to get the color to be exactly what I want, um, and I don't have to um, rely on glazes to, you know, be exactly what I'm looking for. Now, in this piece, I, I'm also a little bit of a pack rat. I've collected a whole lot of different textural bits. Um, in this piece, oh, let's see, you can see an old dryer ball. Um, you can see the netting from fruits and vegetables. And you can see stick pins in a piece of, of styrofoam. Um, the, the turtle himself was, was definitely sculpted from scratch. And in order to keep it light enough to hang on the wall, I had to fill him with foil, aluminum foil. So he is basically a fairly light structure, an armature, with the, a thin layer of this epoxy clay on top. I have about an hour and a half once I've mixed the two bits together, you know, with the epoxy clay, um, and then the chemicals start like doing their thing. And at a certain point, it's too hard to work with. After that, you can actually carve it, you know, and, and you know, I have a drill, I can drill it, I can attach it, whatever I need to do. But um, it, it makes me kind of work a little bit more immediately. But the, also the great thing is you can add things, you know, so I can create the whole shell, I can create the head and the legs, and then after it's all dried, I can put them all together. So that really works nicely for me now. Um, and the second part is the painting. Um, of course, when I'm working on the piece, I'm thinking about composition and story and what do I want to say and all the things that you think about as an artist. Um, but then with the paint, I can pull it all together um, with the color and so then the composition starts coming together. Um, I feel that the layering is what kind of makes your eye think, you know, it's all kind of hanging together. But when you look at, you know, his shell, which is mostly warm colors, and the water, which is mostly cool colors, there's a little bit of green and blue in the in the warmth. There's a little bit of yellow or you know, yellow green in the in the cool. So I try to kind of play back and forth and put many layers so that it all kind of hangs together. Now I want to say something about the subject. Um, the hawksbill turtle, and oh, I don't know if you can see his unique bill there. It's um, it does look like a hawk. It's got a you know nice little hook that he can use to get in the coral and eat the sponges and. Um, it's a very critically endangered species. My last three years of creating sea life uh, vignettes, you might say, um, I've, I've sort of settled on, is there something in our beautiful Pacific Ocean here in California that is, uh, needs attention? Um, I've done octopuses, I've done fish, I've done um, seahorses, and the, this last one, um, when I was doing the research, uh, what do I want to do next? I thought turtles, I haven't done a turtle. I came across this hawksbill turtle. It's been oh, decimated, decimated because of its gorgeous shell. It's what we know as tortoise shell and is sold as 
souvenirs, bracelets, you know, trinkets, all those things, um, wherever it's found in the world, which is mostly the Caribbean. Um, it is actually, they say, in Southern California, but mostly down through the Caribbean to, down to Peru. There are some in Hawaii, and um, what I call it is Hawksbill Turtle, Too Rare to Wear. I found that online, and I would suggest, if you're looking at this, you look it up, because it's a wonderful organization that has brought to light what a, a sad plight this beautiful animal has because of its gorgeous shell. It's been, um, you know, caught by humans and used for something, you know, that you could still buy souvenirs. Do they have to be his beautiful home? So, um, anyway, I, I really enjoyed making this piece. I, I would love it if, you know, when you look at this piece, you have a great feeling about this animal. And if it inspires you, to do something, you know, study it a little bit more. There are also conservation funds, one called um, um, Hawaii Wildlife Fund, and you know, there are many ways to help save beautiful creatures like this in the world. And today is Giving Tuesday. Thank you.